thank you for this time. Amen. Amen. Great, worship, great. <laughs> and he just says, I'm telling you, we do not have a bell. There is no gong. Oh. No. <laughs> and he stalled right mid sentence and looked at his wife Liz like, and then here comes a here comes a guy walking through the forest. Oh my goodness. Uniform, white gloves, carrying a bell. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Walking right straight toward us. And so we took that bell with a 40 year old little girl. We declared the word of the Lord over this land at the ringing of the bell. We declared the, uh, the prophetic purposes of God for this land. God's desire for, for uh, eternal desire. And uh, we were prophesying on the land ringing the bell. We, we, want us, we want our hearts to experience the diversity in the. In the the, the beauty and the pain of what has happened in the land of our So, Lord, we ask that you begin to anoint, anoint our journey now. You've already been setting our hearts in tune for months for this. And now, Lord, we ask that you begin to anoint our journey to hear the song that you want to sing over in this generation. But most, many of the places that we go will be all will be built on old Celtic thin places, if you will, places where God did something so incredible that they would mark the land because there was a well there, or they would mark the land because of a miracle. Mark the land where I like Kilkenny. To kill always means church. So kill for a saint. So Kilkenny.